It is early morning in the Pride Lands. Keon and the rest of the Lion Guard notice a group of vultures flying towards a baby baboon. Screech! The baboon shrieks as he runs away in fear. Leave the baby baboon alone. Keon roars up to the threatening vultures. Don't worry, baboonie, cries Boonga, the honey badger, running after him as fast as he can. The Lion Guard will save you. When one vulture dives towards the baboon, oh no, swoops in, causing the mean bird to back off. Go ahead, make your move. The egret challenges. The lion guard has the vultures surrounded. Mazunga, their leader, tells their vultures to give up. They fly away in defeat. You're safe now, little guy. Keon reassures the young baboon. Fully sized bothersome baboons and vultures. Could this day get any worse, she says? All of a sudden, there is a crack of thunder. The sky turns gray, and rain begins to pour down. The heavy rain quickly causes the river to flood. The shoreline where the baboon is standing is ripped away. The frightened baboon falls into the water and is swept down the river, fooling you have to save that baboon, Keon orders. You're the only one fast enough. Fooly takes off at full speed and races along the shore. The baboon reaches for a tree branch hanging over the river. He clutches it tightly until Fooly can help him. Hold on, Fooly yells. She grabs the scared baboon by the scruff of his neck. There, she says, pulling him to the shore. You're safe, again. The baby baboon leaps up and gives Fully a big hug. Ugh, she groans, baboons. When the rest of the guard catches up with Fully, they tell her that the river has washed away the strip of land that leads to nearby Roomba Meadow. Now, Keon's sister, Kiera, and her friends are trapped on an island. The guard has to rescue them fast. You are to take the baboon home to Naya Grove, Keon says to Fooly. Lucky me, she says, annoyed at the pesky baboon, still clinging to her neck. Fooly races off to Naya Grove. She wants to get the baboon home as quickly as possible. Hey, come back here, Fooly says, as the playful baboon begins swinging from tree branches. Baboons. Fully chases after him. They never make things easy. Meanwhile, the rest of the guard goes to help Kiara, Tufu, and Zuri. Keon sees a big tree and has an idea. We'll make a bridge. Bestie pushes with all his might against the large tree. The large tree trunk cracked. The tree tips over and lands on the island. But the heavy tree causes the island's edge to crumble. It sinks into the rushing river. Kiera gets nervous as she watches the raging river wash away small chunks of land. We have to take a path to the shore ourselves, Kiera says. All we need are a few big stones. The three lines push a large boulder to the edge of the island. But the heavy rock rolls too fast. They can't keep up with it. Splash! It falls into the river. Oh no, tells the guard that Kiara's plan didn't work. Kian gets an idea. Maybe we can put our two plans together, she says. He asks Oh no to fly back to Kiara, Tufi, and Zuri. Tell them to wait by the riverbank. Bunga, Bestie, and Kian push a large boulder into the water. On the other side of the river, Kiara, Kufi, and Zuri knock over a rotten tree. The tree cracks at its base and falls on top of the boulder, making a bridge. The plan works. Kiara and her friends happily walk across to safety. We did it! The lion guard cheers. Further inland, Fuli and the baboon have arrived at Noni Groove. Several baboons pop their heads out from a tree to greet them. The leader thanks Fooly for making the long trip, but tells her this is not the baby's home. He lives on top of 
map of Ungold Cliffs, he says, pointing to the large hill in the distance. Fully sized. This is going to take longer than I thought, she says. Fully runs even faster than reach from Mapingo Cliffs. Without the cheetah noticing, the baboon grabs a branch of a passing tree. He pulls himself up and hides high in the foliage. Soon, Fully realizes something is different. The baboon is quiet. A little too quiet, she thinks. Grrrplop! Something lands on Fully's head. The baboon is playfully throwing food at her. Don't even think about it, she warns him. But Fully only pretends to be mad. The little baboon is growing and beginning to grow on her. Fooly and the baboon finally make it to the Pembo Cliffs. My baby, the mother cries, hugging her little baboon. Yes, my work here is done, Fooly says proudly. proudly. When Fooly turns to head for home, she looks up in horror. The vultures are back, and they're flying straight for the baby baboon. Fully scrambles up the cliffs while the baboons try to keep the vultures away by throwing fruit at them. Fully reaches the top of the cliffs. Then she leaps off and lands on Mazingo. They tumble to the ground. Fully holds Mazingo down with her paws. Tell your birds to back off, she demands. Between the fruit throwing baboons and tough Fully, Mazingo knows he can't win. He orders the other vultures to leave. As the vultures fly away, the baboons chant, Fooly, Fooly, Fooly. Thank you for saving my baby, the mother baboon says to her. The baby baboon runs to give Fooly one last hug. This time, Fooly smiles and happily hugs him back. Sorry I took so long, Fooly says when she finally catches up with her friends. The baby baboon is home safe. It just wasn't as simple as I thought it would be. But you're glad to be rid of that baboony, says Bunga. You know it? Fully replies, but she can't hide her real feelings. She misses that pesky little baboon.